Please welcome the legendary Arsenio Hall. John Adams, they get, that's in honor of you. They don't normally do that, but that's in honor of you, man. Thank you. That's us. Boy. If anybody brought it from Cleveland and parked it here, it's me and you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. How you this, been, man? I'm good, sir. You like I'm this? I'm good, and this is nice, and I like you at a desk. Thank you. Me yeah. Too. Yes. Me too. I like this. This is, uh, you know, this is more comfortable than my therapist's office. I, I feel... <laughs> you, you had to go talk to him. Oh, yeah. sometimes you got to go talk about hey, it. Man. Black folks, go to a therapist. Yeah. I know black, pe black, people, black people don't like therapists. We think the barbershop is enough. But <laughs> every now and then, you got to sit next to somebody at a desk. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, we've known each other since college, man. Yeah. We don't know, people don't know. Oh. Arsino and I went to Kent State together. Oh. Kent State. Yes. Yes. What, what's even crazier is I cheated on his paper. <laughs> yes. That's really good, man. <laughs> hey, man, you, you're touring now regularly, first time in 20 years, man. Yeah. Well, what, what's that been like, man? Yeah. Come check me out. It's, it's fun. I'm trying to get your boy out there. You, you know, the hard part is when you get old, that's why Bernie Sanders couldn't be our president. When you get old, you can't go... No, because you can't be president if you go to bed at 5, OK? <laughs> right? <laughs> and when you get old, you don't want to be out late. And our club life, you have to go to this club and that club. You do a 10 o'clock at the Improv and a, a 11 to 30 at, at the Comedy Factory yeah. and the Teehees. You do yeah. a late set at Teehees. Yeah. But I'm old. I want to be home, <laughs> you know? So that was the hardest part. But <laughs> But we're both trying to get Eddie to do it again. I think it's so cathartic. It's, it's made my life complete. It's like the woman that I missed and I have her back. I'm so happy to be doing stand-up again. We need it, man. Yeah, man. And it's what we do. Yeah. It is. It is. It is it's third, third man. Uh, like, like about a week ago, um, I was going to meet Eddie Murphy for coffee, right? And you don't know where this story is going, but apparently when he got to the coffee place, he had just seen you. Yeah. And, and he said you were exercising. Yeah, in the neighborhood. Right. And he came down, and we were sitting drinking coffee, and he's like, Steve was up working out. And I'm like, yeah, that's wild. Because <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, so, I was so happy but, but sad because I don't work out, you know. <laughs> Other than sex, I really don't get to work out <laughs> that much. But Steve, Steve get up early in the morning and work out with his clothes on. And I yeah. really respect that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> he go, he go yeah. out, you know? I saw Eddie that morning. Yeah. And I think it was the first morning I had saw him, because we live in the same neighborhood, but I'd never seen him, and he was pulling out. And I ran up into him, and I saw him. And he invited me and the wife up to the house. We've been up to the house a couple of times and yeah. everything. He's a nice guy, man, but I've known him for years. And don't ever go, go to the house with the wife, don't go for coffee, because you know what he do? He pulled, and you probably do this to people too. He paid for the coffee and tipped like $100. <laughs> yeah, so when I come back, they don't even want to see me. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even want to see him. me. <laughs> Not, because, you know, hey, I do $20. $20 is enough for two coffees. But now I come in, and when it's my turn to pay, they be like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> They be mad at the coffee. You know? <laughs> Hey, I'll sit here. You, you and Dave Chappelle, uh, you made a surprise appearance uh, to Chris Rock's stand-up show in Cleveland. Home. Y'all went up to Cleveland, man. Yes. And you walked in and stunned it. How'd that work out, man? Steve, that was so much fun. That's the night I realized that I, you know, uh, Arsenio got his groove back, man. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, Rock was performing in Cleveland, and he called me, he says, why don't you come on to Cleveland, you know? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he yeah. always talk with all his teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, come on up to Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> so, so I, I and, and then he called me back later on, he said, Chappelle's coming, because Chappelle lives in Ohio. So we gave Cleveland the night 
of a lifetime. Boy, that had oh. to be crazy. Oh, man. Oh. Man. The, Steve, the, the laughter was incredible. The roof caved in, and, and Dave will say anything. He like you. He will say anything. What you yeah. mean, like? <laughs> well, you know, you know Steve will go there. Come on, now. That's why you're sitting here, because you will go there. <laughs> you gave me, man, one of the great memories of my life, man. You took me to Richard Pryor's house. Yeah. And that was, like, one of the greatest moments for me, man. Yeah. But you, are, you, you know what, though? It was a great moment for him. But I don't know if you know this. I know, I know y'all don't know this. Richard asked me to bring you there. Let me tell you something. He took care of Richard Pryor. He was there. He sat with Richard Pryor more than anybody. That picture there was the first night I met Richard Pryor at the ABC Comedy Awards. When I got through hugging him and we talked, I went behind the bar, I cried for 20 minutes. Yeah. I, I was, I was there that, I brought him there that night. Yeah. And, uh, and I'll tell you something. We were watching television. Uh, Steve Hightower, the sitcom. Yeah. Yes. And Richard Pryor is looking and he said, he, he is a stand-up, right? And I said, yes. He kind of looked like I used to look, don't you think? <laughs> and I, I said, yeah. You know, Steve could play you. And he said, is there a way you could have him stop by? I found Steve. Yeah. And Steve was there before sundown, sitting at Richard Pryor's bed. Yeah. And it was a great, great night for him. Yeah, man. And God bless you. No. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.